Hello everyone, this is Levent from Kahu Masası. Today I'm gonna review a manual espresso maker, Cafelat Robot. As you may know or realize, manual coffee gear are becoming more popular recently and manual espresso makers are one of them. If you wanna buy a lever style espresso maker, a manual one, so your options are limited. One of them is the Cafelat Robot, the other one is the Flare. So today I'm gonna talk to you about Cafelat Robot how to use it, advantages, disadvantages, and some tips and tricks to ease its use. First of all, we need to talk about one man, Paul Pratt. He was a technician for La Marzocco several years, and he has a great collection of espresso machines. He's very knowledgeable on the espresso side, and this one is built by hand by him. Actually, not only built, built, manufactured, tested, and designed. So this is a one-man show espresso maker. What makes it special is, as you can see, its design is unique. For me, it's aesthetic to have a robot-like design, but some of you may not like it. I really like the design. It looks like the robot. It has the two arms. Most of the lever-style espresso machines have only one arm, but this one has the two arms. You also have a pressure gauge on one of the arms where you can read the pressure. It shows optimum espresso pressure range in red but you don't have to use those levels. It's between 6 and 8 bars but you can play with it. What's in the box? This is the main body of the Kafalat robot and there is a black silicone mat that you can use to put your glass on it so it's better for cleaning. And there is a temper inside the box which is really great. It's a team based temper. And this is where magic happens. This is your 58mm basket which is similar to the commercial espresso machines but this time it's a bit deeper and longer. And here is the portafilter where you put your basket inside it and use with the Cafelat robot. Here there is one important thing. When you see the bottom of it there is a gap between the basket and the portafilter. It really helps with the heat retention and this can keep your water temperature real high. It's a very clever design which makes robot easy to use for espresso. After this one you will just use the temper to temp your coffee and put your shower screen. There is also one more part which is the spoot for the double shots. I mean to be honest I don't use that one because I want to see the naked portafilter doing the job. It's tricky to install and remove the portafilter. In order to do that, you need to move the arms of the robot upwards and put the portafilter in the middle, put it in the slot and slide it gently to the right. Uh, it seems not tight, but there is no issue. Do not worry. When you need to remove that one, there is a trick. Just move it to the middle and tilt it down a bit to remove the polter fill completely otherwise it may stuck in the piston many people ask me what the temperature levels are when you use the Cafelat robot so I waited a bit so the portafilter filter is not that hot it's just a bit warm so I filled the portafilter filter and the basket with water and now measuring the temperature as you can read, I mean, it's around 90-92 degrees Celsius, which is really great because if you warm it up, it will be around 95 degrees Celsius. I just use the off-boil water. I mean, this is really great. Our first tip to warm up the basket and the porta filter. What you can do is to remove the lid of the kettle and put something here. This is from an IKEA server and just Put the basket and the portafilter like this while warming up your water. So the steam from the water will help you to heat your portafilter and the basket and it will really help. Just give it a try. Second tip. When you have the coffee, just put it in the basket. So I recommend to use a WDT or something like this just to distribute the coffee particles. So this will really ease your puck prep and it will help you to get better consistent shots. So this is the second tip. Third tip is about tamping. So 
Escafelat robot basket is different than the traditional ones. It's longer and deeper, so it's a bit difficult to tamp. So the tamper sent with the Kafalat robot actually not that long and you cannot sure whether the coffee is even or not. So what I do is I just put it here like this and I just use the cork from a wine bottle or something. I may just put it like that and it helps you to better align the tamper and tamp it. So just give this a try too. So you will get a better tamping experience with this one. You can keep the cork here or just remove it easily like that. That's all. This one is optional. Using a paper filter on top of your coffee. So this is also recommended by Scott Rail. It provides even wetting of the coffee pack and it's also very easy to clean when you use a paper filter. Just put it like that. After this one, what you need to do is just to put your shower screen and press by two fingers like this. Just to be sure it's seated correctly. Other easy to use tip is to use a rubber band. Just to fix the arms of the robot to put your porta filter and remove it. So it's also easy. Just put a rubber band here. and just put it that way now it's really very easy to put your porta filter like this and remove it so your hands are free this is very easy you can just remove it easily like this so this is also another good tip for you a cheap one and a very useful one when filling your water Aim these little red silicone stuff on the shower screen so it will really help you. Just aim on it, pour the water by aiming this red dot. Now it's time for a good espresso shot. As I mentioned, I just put the rubber band and the arms are up. I will gently put the porta filter. Now it's all set. Now what we need to do is just to get our shot. And now apply some pressure. Yeah, this is the pre -wetting. I see coffee drops. Now I will increase the pressure. Now we are at 8 bars. I will keep it there. So I will keep it there a bit more. Now I'm done. How to clean it? It's also easy. Just get an empty glass and remove the water like this. When you hear the bubbling sound or see the bubbles, just stop and remove the porta filter like this by tilting down and removing. So that's all. And we have the espresso here. So this is the shot. It looks good, right? Enjoy. Up to now, I showed you what the Kafalat robot is, what the parts are, how to use it, how to get the perfect shot, and the tips and tricks. So is there anything that can be improved? Yes, the robot is not perfect too. So for me, the first thing is I want the distance between these legs to be a bit wider because you may not use most of the scales in the market with the robot. You just need to 
put it sidewards, I mean, you will not be easily put this case under the robot. So that's the number one. Even you put the scale, if you want to use a glass a bit taller, it will not fit. You may need to remove the scale. So it may be a bit wider and taller. It may give you more room to put your glass or put a scale. So that's the number one. The second one is the pressure gauge is a bit difficult to read. You get used to it. In order to read that one, you just need to lean a bit forward and read the gauge. It's easy to get used to. But maybe, maybe if they just move this a bit, maybe 90 degrees, it may be easier to read. Because when you use the robot, you cannot use it in the chest level because you cannot apply the pressure required. What you need to do is you need to keep it in this level so you can easily apply the pressure. So that's the second thing. Besides those ones, I think the robot is really great and it can do a great job. It can give you perfect shots if you know what you are doing. So thank you for watching the review. I hope all the tips and tricks will be useful for you. You may write your questions in the comments or you may reach me from Instagram. So thank you for watching. I hope you liked it. This is another shot with the robot and you will also see the naked porta filter. I put the porta filter and my glass and now start getting the espresso. So what I do is I keep at two bars around 10 seconds to pre-infuse the basket. You can see the espresso is coming. Now I increase the pressure to eight bars, seven bars, and I try to keep it there, keep it there. So now seven, six, and now my espresso is over.